Good afternoon and welcome everybody and thank you all for joining us today uh, at the Embassy. And special thanks to Minister of Research, Education and Universities, my friend Stefania Giannini. It's a privilege to speak uh, with you all today about a topic of critical importance uh, to both of our countries. Uh, this morning, the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs hosted the 12th annual or 12th Joint Commission meeting, uh, an important pillar of our bilateral science and technology, technological relationship. I understand, by the way, this is the largest uh, in terms of attendance of any of the previous meetings that we've had. Over the past two years, numerous research agencies from the United States and Italy have forged closer cooperation areas ranging from high energy physics to research for cultural heritage. This cooperation will benefit both of our countries. It will promote economic growth, which can contribute to the prosperity of all of our citizens, and it will develop partnerships to address all the shared global challenges that we face together. Today's panel discussion aimed to promote a robust dialogue on how research drives innovation. Innovation and entrepreneurship are key factors, as we know, driving economic growth in both of our countries. That's where the new jobs come from, innovation and entrepreneurship. By leveraging the talents and ingenuity of our world-renowned research communities, we provide an open platform to, com uh, to commercialize research. That's what's important, the end result of the research. Way back in 1608, uh, Galileo here famously improved the telescope used to look at distant stars. Uh, he provided that technology uh, to merchants in Venice. That's the name of a good play, by the way, Merchants of Venice, who then used a tool originally designed to study the planets to distinguish between cargo vessels and possible attackers to show you the uh, additional use that research will provide. 350 years later, in 1958, we saw technologies used by United States and European researchers in advanced particle physics as laying the foundation for the internet and the World Wide Web. And just think of the technological breakthrough and all the economic consequences that flowed from that effort. This information was made freely available to millions of engineers and entrepreneurs and is now one of the most primary engines of global economic growth. That is why in 2013, the Obama administration, along with other uh, G8 countries, directed our research agencies to make the results of nationally funded research freely available uh, to the public for the first time. A guy named Todd Park, a, a friend of mine who was head of the si Office of Science and Technology in the White House, promoted the idea, which has been a huge success um, since then. This will help our engineers and entrepreneurs to quickly identify and commercialize new discoveries and new technologies. All of us in this mission believe strongly in Italy's potential to innovate. And before I turn the microphone over, to Minister Giannini, I would like to take a brief moment just to mention uh, two of our programs. The first is the Embassy's Business Exchange and Student Training Program, better known as BEST. Uh, since 2006, 10 years ago, the U.S. Embassy and private sector partners have supported BEST to create an environment that provides rising professionals with entrepreneurial skills, Italian professionals. Young Italians are immersed for six months in an entrepreneurial environment in Silicon Valley, receiving intense three months course uh, in entrepreneurship, followed by an internship at a firm, uh, typically a startup or formerly a startup in Silicon Valley. Um, mentoring, risk taking, and merit are the founding and operating principles of the BEST initiative. It needs to be expanded and it needs to be funded. And this is a, a role I think the Italian government can uh, play an important part. The deadline for the 2016 courses will be on um, March 
31st, 2016. So if you know of anybody who you think has a particular aptitude for this kind of work, uh, tell them about the program. And you can find more information on our Fulbright Commission website. Uh, the second program is the United States Global Entrepreneurship Summit, or GES, which President Obama announced will take place in Silicon Valley this summer. This summit will highlight the innovation that exists in all corners of the United States and the world, not just metropolitan areas and the urban centers or Silicon Valley. Innovation doesn't just exist in big cities anymore. People are using technology to solve big problems that exist across the whole country and the globe, from automotive and supply chain industries to solutions that benefit consumers, energy, and health. Hosting the summit in Silicon Valley highlights America's entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, many of you have been there, I know. There's nothing like in the world like Silicon Valley, in my experience. It also allows American investors and entrepreneurs to see the talent, solutions, and opportunities that exist, not just in America, but around the world. Now, we hope and expect to see a lot of Italians there. I know when Prime Minister Renzi went to, two years ago to Stanford and Silicon Valley, and he spoke there, there were so many Italians who were already there who came to, uh, to hear him. So there's already uh, a real presence of Italians uh, in Silicon Valley. So thank you all for coming, and best wishes for a successful and productive dialogue this afternoon.